Hello and welcome to PCI Tech TV. Today we're going to be looking at Landsat 8. Landsat 8 was launched in February of 2013 and is a long-awaited satellite which is a continuity mission from the previous Landsat satellites dating back to 1972 with the original ERTS satellite that was launched. Landsat 8 is freely available. The data is completely freely available and I'd like to show you how to download the imagery from the website from the USGS website. There's a few different ways that the data can be downloaded. And I'd also like to show you how to import the imagery or view the imagery in PCI Geomatica, as well as how to create a mosaic from multiple overlapping images. Uh, Landsat data is distributed according to the WRS2 um, reference system, which means that uh, typically the images uh, do not completely overlap your area of interest. In many cases, your area of interest will overlap several Landsat images, in which case you'll have to download the individual images and then stitch them together into a mosaic. So we're going to be showing you how to do that today. So the first thing I want to show you here is the landsat.usgs.gov website, which is where you should get started to get information about Landsat 8. There's a few different ways to download imagery. One of the nicest ways is actually to uh, view the WRS2 tiles inside Google Earth and uh, you can get all of the metadata information through that tool. So if you navigate to Tools and uh, click on Landsat 8 KML Download, what that's going to do is basically save a KML file to your local disk which you can then open in Google Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and open that in Google Earth. And you can see that the Landsat 8 KML file is loaded here. And it's asking me to zoom in. So I'm going to be showing an example of Ottawa for this demonstration. So if I zoom into Ottawa, you'll see that when I reach a certain zoom scale, the uh, USGS logo appears. And in a second, I will get the extent of the WRS2 tile loading up on top of the uh, map. So as you can see, we have several images overlapping Ottawa. And uh, as is often the case, if we want to get a nice image of uh, a certain area of interest, in my case, the uh, city of Ottawa and the surrounding region, uh, I'm going to have to download several images and stitch them together or mosaic them together in order to uh, make a uh, complete uh, seamless map of my area of interest. So in this case, uh, it looks like I'll need 1628, 1629, 1528, and 1529. So inside Google Earth, uh, we can just uh, click a, uh, simply click on these, and uh, we get a quick look, and uh, the data can also be ordered uh, through the interface here. So if you want to download a full resolution product, you'll need to create an account with USGS. Again, it's completely free, uh, but you will need to create an account. So if I go download additional products, it's going to ask me to log in. And once I'm logged in, I've got a few different options here. So I can get a five megabyte JPEG, uh, the thermal image, the quality band. And uh, what, I, what I would like to get is this level one product, which is the full resolution product with all of the different bands. So I would basically click on order or sorry, download in this case, because the uh, product is already available. In some cases, the image is not processed yet. Uh, the Landsat sensor actually collects um, imagery every day, uh, up to 400 images per day. So if uh, an image has not been processed yet, the uh, procedure is uh, very straightforward. You simply request it through this interface with your account. That initiates an automatic process for uh, generating the data product. You'll be sent an email uh, advising as to the status. I have an example here of an email. So here's an email advising uh, the status of a online uh, order, which I did previously. And uh, so we can see the, um, the actual data product here. And once it's ready for download, then I can go back to the website and download the product. The other way that I can search for data, uh, there's a few different tools. So there's Earth Explorer, which is one of the tools that uh, USGS makes available. And another one is the USGS Global Visualization Viewer, or GLOVIS as it's known. 
Uh, so both of these tools are very intuitive to use. And um, so in Glavis, you would essentially uh, navigate to the area of interest. So here I just simply clicked on the map to roughly locate myself over uh, Ottawa. And uh, I'm able to uh, view a thumbnail again on the image and get the uh, information as to the quality of that image, the uh, cloud cover percentage, um, and the acquisition date. And once again, I could uh, uh, add this uh, particular scene here to my cart, and then there's a procedure for uh, checking the imagery out and uh, ordering it this way. Once again, it's, uh, it's a free uh, service um, at, that, that is set up through the USGS. The other tool is uh, Earth Explorer. Uh, so this is just a little bit of a different interface. Uh, there's, uh, you probably recognize the uh, uh, Google Maps uh, backdrop here. Um, there's a gazetteer built in, so we could actually just uh, type in a place name here uh, and uh, it'll convert that to a, a latitude, longitude location, so we could search that way. And then some other ways to filter, so we could uh, filter by date, so 01, uh, 02, uh, 2013, or specific months. So there's quite a few additional uh, search criteria that can be uh, uh, done through here. So I encourage you to uh, to familiarize yourself with uh, the, both of these tools. They're very uh, excellent tools for uh, searching and downloading the Landsat uh, imagery.